The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Pendle, Lancashire. Selena Jane Cooper may not be as well known in the Pendle area as Wallace Hartley, Sidney Silverman or William Pickles Hartley, but she should be. Without Selena, women throughout the country may never have got the right to vote, maternity provision, birth control or child allowances. Workers of both sexes may never have got better pay and conditions. Born in 1864 in Clinton, Cornwall or she was a heroine who, despite her working class background, did as much for women's rights as Emmeline Bankhurst, but in a quieter, more dignified manner with the pacifist movement, the suffragists. As a dedicated member of the Independent Labour Party she was a leading light in campaigns for the working class in the 1900s in the battles against post-First World War unemployment and in the fight against fascism in the 1930s. Selina was born Selina Jane Goomb, the daughter of Charles Goomb a railway navvy and Jane her mother in 1864, following the death of her father she came to Barnaldiswick in 1876 with her mother and younger brother to find work in the area's cotton mills. Given a rudimentary education in the mills until the age of 13 before working full-time, in the 1880s she moved with her mother to Bryfield, where she cared for her sick mother. On returning to the mills after her mother's death in 1889 she was inspired to join her first union, the Burnley Weavers Association. Along with many other workers she became attracted to socialism and the newly formed ILP, which offered the hope of radical change to the quality of life. Selina decided to develop her own education taking and passing the first year examination at the newly formed St. John Ambulance Branch in Bryfield in 1893 and joining the committee in 1895. She also studied the Principles of Laundry Work Certificate at Nelson Secondary School. Her quest for self-education led her to join the Women's Cooperative Guild. In 1898 she was elected president of the new Bryfield branch, where she acquired her experience as a public speaker. Meanwhile, in 1896, she married a socialist, Robert Cooper who was born near Hawes in Yorkshire, at the Independent Methodist Chapel, Colne. The clergyman who conducted the ceremony, the Reverend T. Arthur Leonard, invited them to manage a new Countryside Holiday Association Centre in 1899. Selena's first child John Ruskin was born in 1897 who was named after the writer who had most influenced her political ideas, he died of bronchitis when he was four months old. In 1900, her daughter, Mary Jane, was born. On May Day, 1900, a women's suffrage petition was launched the North England Society. Selina Cooper collected signatures locally and in 1901 she accompanied the petition to Westminster to present it to Lancashire MPS and to speak on behalf of the signatories. In the same year, the Cooper family moved to 59 St. Mary's Street, Nelson, where Selina was to live the rest of her life. In 1901 Mrs. Cooper was elected to the local Board of Guardians. In 1903 she helped launch the Lancashire Women's Textile Workers' Representation Committee, and in 1906 she was instrumental in the founding of the Nelson Suffrage Society. Between 1905 and 1907, her reputation for persuasive debate and fine public speaking meant she was chosen as the Nelson Ilp delegate to Labour Party conferences. She began travelling from one county to another rallying support for by-election suffrage candidates including Bertrand Russell. She fought for improved conditions for mothers and babies, and helped set up a number of local maternity and child welfare centers. In 1918, when women over 30 were given the vote, Selina Cooper served on civic bodies including the Nelson Education Committee, the Burnley Board of Guardians, the National Cooperative Health Insurance Committee and the local magistrates bench. In 1934 at the age of 70, she accepted an invitation from the British Women's Organising Committee against War and Fascism to join a delegation to Germany to plead for the release of four women prisoners. When she died on November 11, 1946, Selina Cooper had survived long enough to see the introduction of many of the demands for which she fought.
Selena Jane Cooper's legacy lived on long after her death. Her tireless efforts for women's rights, workers' rights, and social justice had paved the way for a fairer society. Her daughter, Mary Jane, followed in her mother's footsteps and became a member of parliament, continuing her mother's fight for women's suffrage and social reform. But Selena's impact was felt beyond her family. Her work had inspired a generation of women to stand up for their rights and fight for a better future. In the years that followed, Selena Jane Cooper became a celebrated figure in the Bendel area and beyond. Statues were erected in her honor, schools and community centers were named after her, and her name became synonymous with the fight for justice. And while history may not have remembered her name as well as it remembered the likes of Emmeline Bankhurst, Selena Jane Cooper's contributions to society were no less significant. She was a hero, a trailblazer and an inspiration to all those who followed in her footsteps. By Donald J.